Friendly Aquaponics is a small family business that uses aquaponics both to provide our own income and to share with people to empower them to grow their own food. I think our biggest goal is to recreate ourselves so that this isn't the only farm doing that and this isn't the only island where there's an active thriving aquaponics community. But there are local aquaponics food production facilities all around the nation and all around the world. We're, we're holding commercial aquaponics courses that my teacher asked me, what are you thinking? Why would you want to share this with anybody? You're just going to create competition for yourself. We don't feel that way about it. We feel like we've, we've got to spread the knowledge and, and, and provide access to this for other people. We're open source and everything we've learned, we take everything that we've learned and we share it fully and completely with the people who come to our trainings and even with the people who just come on farm tours. Their number one focus is to keep building this, to keep sharing it, and not only to share it with new people, but to keep very close contact with everyone they share it with. Well, our first farm tour at Friendly Aquaponics pretty much changed our life. Within being there 10 or 15 minutes and seeing what they're doing, and seeing that they're doing it with lots of kids too and still making it happen, it's like, okay, we can do it, no problem. We want to have our own farmer's market here, and that's what we're providing to the neighborhood. Three days a week, we offer our produce for sale. Um, so anyone driving home from work or heading out for the weekend can stop by, pick up what they need, and it's as fresh as it's going to get and pretty local too. Right now, we're importing 94% of the food we eat here. And we're, we're frankly at the end of a really fragile supply line. There's one shipping company that comes into Hawaii. If anything happens to that one, we're, you know, we're out of luck, really. The Center for Sustainability on Maui says we are nine meals away from hunger and around 20 meals away from starvation. What I see it is Hawaii really has to lead the way for the rest of the nation and maybe even the rest of the world in showing how we can be sustainable. We're increasing the knowledge base because we know a lot about aquaponics in this location. We don't know much about aquaponics in, say, a rural Mexican village, but we have somebody who's building one. Last year they really touched us with their networking and their idea to expand this worldwide and as they get their fingerlings out there, we wanted to be one of those people to settle or solve all the problems of trying to do a system in the desert and then we want to duplicate it on a parking lot because there's so many empty parking lots that can have these systems operate on them and we can share that information freely. China is a big country with a huge population you know, and we don't have enough land you know, to grow food but uh, uh, like we have like some kind of land you can't grow anything on it and uh, you can't build a house on it and aquaponics is perfect for this kind of land. I definitely feel that uh, Hawaii needs more Tim and Suzanne's. We need people Number one, with the vision. Once you have the vision, then we can, then we have something to follow. They've laid out a plan. Hard to go and follow anybody without a plan. So I, I do believe that they have a plan and I've seen their plan in action. And I've seen it work. And I see what they do every Saturdays. If they weren't needed here, they wouldn't be booking those Saturday tours every Saturday because people are interested. People want to know what's going in their food. People want to know what they're eating. We're excited. It gives us a lot of hope because we weren't, we weren't certain if people still had that kind of spirit, you know, that do-it-yourself pioneer spirit. And it's, it's plain to see that they do. I have a mission now. I have a purpose. And I don't know that I've ever lived my life with as clear a purpose as I do now. I most certainly have never done anything this real.